Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Minotaur Fan 93 Thanks for the suggestion, Minotaur Fan. You asked, how is titanium made? Titanium isn't just another metal. This stuff is light, strong, and cool enough to sound like a superhero's name. But how do we actually go from digging it out of the ground to getting this silvery, almost indestructible metal? Well, let's uncover the surprisingly dramatic, almost sci-fi process of making titanium right here on Explaining Everything. Titanium doesn't just lie around in shiny bars, waiting for someone to pick it up. No, nature makes us work for it. In fact, titanium almost never exists in its pure form. Instead, it hangs out in minerals like ilmenite and rutile, which are basically just rocks that look nothing like a high-tech metal. Picture this. Miners go after these minerals in places like Australia, South Africa, and Canada. They scoop up loads of dark sand or heavy ore. It looks like something you'd shovel out of a backyard fire pit, but inside those grains is titanium dioxide, our golden ticket. And here's the first big twist. Titanium dioxide is too stable. It clings to oxygen like a clingy X who just won't let go. So before we can get titanium metal, we have to figure out how to break up that relationship. And trust me, oxygen isn't giving up easily. So, how do you unstick titanium from oxygen? You throw chemistry at it, specifically chlorine gas and carbon. Yes, the same chlorine that makes swimming pools smell like regret, and carbon, which usually ends up in pencils or barbecues. Together, they make magic. The ore is roasted with chlorine and carbon in a hot furnace, like really hot. Out of this chemical barbecue comes titanium tetrachloride, also known as tickle, because scientists got tired of saying titanium tetrachloride at parties. Now, titanium tetrachloride sounds fancy, but here's the kicker. It's a liquid. It fumes like a haunted house. And if you spill it in air, it reacts instantly and turns into a smoky mess. Basically, it's the diva of chemicals. Dangerous, dramatic, and absolutely necessary. So why make this terrifying liquid? Because once titanium is in this form, we finally have a way to strip off the chlorine and reveal the pure metal hiding inside. But we're not done yet. Things are about to get even messier. Enter the Kroll process, the method invented in the 1940s by William Kroll, who must have looked at titanium tetrachloride and said, yeah, I can totally handle this terrifying fluid. His solution? Throw magnesium at it. In this step, the titanium tetrachloride is poured into a big sealed container and blasted with magnesium at almost 1,000 degrees Celsius. Magnesium, being the eager beaver of metals, grabs onto the chlorine and forms magnesium chloride, leaving behind spongy lumps of metallic titanium. That sponge may not look glamorous, but it's the raw form of titanium metal. The lumps are then broken down, melted, and refined into shiny ingots. Basically, giant silver loaves of bread. Except, you know, you can't slice them for toast unless your teeth are made of diamond. Once we have those titanium ingots, it's time for the glow-up. The metal is melted in vacuum furnaces, purified even further and finally shaped into bars, sheets, or other forms. This stage is less about wild chemistry and more 
about making the titanium actually usable. Think of it like grooming a wild dog. You've got to tame it before it can sit on the couch. The spongy lumps are consolidated into smooth, uniform titanium, ready to be shipped off to whoever needs it. What's cool here is just how much effort it takes. You start with boring black sand, roast it with chlorine until it turns into scary liquid, blast that with magnesium until you get a weird sponge, and then melt it into bars. It's like baking a cake where every step is a potential explosion. And that's how titanium goes, from stubborn rock to sleek, silvery perfection. It's a long, dangerous, and ridiculously complex journey, all to make a metal that looks deceptively simple in the end. On the surface, titanium just looks like another shiny silver bar. But behind that shine is a saga of stubborn oxygen bonds, scary chemicals, fiery furnaces, and spongy lumps that sound more like kitchen supplies than space-age material. Titanium may be light, shiny, and strong, but the road to get there is full of clingy oxygen, smoky diva liquids, and a whole lot of chemistry drama. So next time you hear the word titanium, just remember, it isn't just a cool name. It's the product of one of the most intense glow-ups in the metal world, going from dull sand to something worthy of rockets, submarines, and the kind of jewelry that makes people ask, wait, is that titanium? If you learned something new about this shiny metal, don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't mistake it with adamantium. That's Wolverine's Claws. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.